Yeah, welcome to part 8 of this 11-part series of brief videos introducing you to EPOS, a Gantis game by Stefan Risthaus. Today I'll mention scenario 6, Progress. Progress is for 1 to 4 players. Your kingdoms are connected by trade networks. You steadily develop new technology and enhance your capabilities. Fulfilling certain conditions grants you access to technology cards with the architect action, providing improved action options and additional scoring opportunities. The technology trees allow gradual access to specific technology combinations in the three epochs. Choose your technology cards wisely to reap the many benefits. Progress comes with additional components. You receive 8 cubes in your color, your personal markers. The 21 oversized technology cards are part of 7 different technology trees, which provide different benefits during the game. Sort the technology cards by technology tree and pre prepare face-up decks, each with 3 technology cards. So this is an oversized technology card. And you see there are three with the same symbol in here. Again, three with the same symbol. Same symbol here with three. And there is a total of 21 cards. This is a calendar card. The technology cards are divided into three levels corresponding to the three epochs, one, two, and three. So, level 1, Epoch 1, Epoch 2, Epoch 3. In Epoch 1, only level 1 technologies are available. In Epoch 2, level 2 technology are, uh, are available as well. And in Epoch 3, level 3 technology cards are available as well as those from previous epochs. As a technology marker indicates the cost of technology cards. Place it above the 4 space of the card display with a cost 4, 6, 8. So it is placed over here on the game board, 4, 6, 8 card. And this is the marker over here. The calendar marker indicates the cost of the calendar technology. Place it above the 6 space of the card display with a cost 6, 8. So that is a calendar marker and it is placed in this space. Then there are four bonus point markers. They give you glory points when you acquire technologies with at least eight cocks. You stack the marker so that the one with eight glory points is on top and you place the stack next to the other bonus point markers, marker stacks. So these are the bonus markers, green printed wood. There's a single one with eight glory points and you need eight cocks for it. You also need eight cocks later, second, third, fourth player, but then you only get four glory points. And there is an additional architect action marker on the game board. In the flourishing phase, you can deploy and move your pioneers to provinces with a navigator action. You may build cities there, even if you do not yet own a city in a polis in the center on the, of the map. The architect action lets you purchase one technology card instead of civilization cards. Later, you may gradually upgrade their levels over the three epochs. Even though all technology cards are initially in decks next to the game board and later placed in front of you, they are considered to be always on the four space of the card display with a coin cost of 4, 6, 8, as I said over here. This is indicated by the technology marker above that space. In the reform phase, some technologies provide revenue. Of course, in final scoring, they may score as well. The technology cards with their many options result in a completely fresh gameplay. You think you know already everything about EPOS? Think again. 
The next video will feature this, uh, the next scenario in EPOS, which is Turbulent Times. Thank you for your interest.